Okay. Stubby. <laughs> I pull her into a big fat hug. Your hair looks like shit. Sit down. <laughs> and start braiding it. I love you too. It's a bit of uh, chicken here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cow. One day at a time, right? One day at a time. Ow! For the last 20 minutes, I've been combing blood out of Pike's Aww. hair, and we've just been having God talk. We were talking about God talk. And, I, and as I put little fun buns in Pike's hair, I say, you know, sometimes I feel like she is right there with me. Well, Pike is resting because she was hurt quite badly. Yeah, but did you see her fun buns, though? I did those. I didn't. You did her fun buns? Yeah, I put little fun buns. Oh, okay. What That's did you good. think I meant? I didn't think anything. And I take out Whisper. Have a seat. Okay. And I take Whisper, and I just start gently cutting away burnt edges of hair on your already shorter hair so that the ends are clean. Oh. Do you like it shorter? I like you. Hey, where did you learn contouring? <laughs> because that's her? really well done. You've seen what I can do with hair, right? I mean, are you really surprised? That's a good point. Let's go. It's the elder show. It's the elder show. <laughs> Come on, let's get you. Let's get you undone. I start undoing the braid. You start undoing your braid, yeah. helping her. Sign up. Don't step and shit. Ruffle Nott's mm. hair on the way back to camp. I so I'm going to pull know. the uh, spool of silver thread, and I'll take a length of it out, and I'm just going to pull Knot's hair back, and then I'll just do a little ponytail. Simple. Oh. Yes. Do you know what I miss? What? Shaving. I could shave you right now with my sword. Wait, 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 wait! This means we are friends. Yes. <laughs> No, I was uh, giving him um, a shave. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <clears throat> wow. Cape Lib puts Beauregard down, and a giant hand, I don't want to do it to you for real, but just way too large, ruffles no her hair. <laughs> oh, man, that's not. Oh. Hold up. Oh. <laughs> no death save. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> No, I'm I'm doing much better now, thank you. Right. I'm okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Be aware of your surroundings. Come here, buddy. Yes. Mr. Hobbles on over. Grab just your hand. Squishes. Oh my hand. Oh yeah. my gosh, then I'll use my other hand to squish his hair a little bit. He puts Actually, like some crumpled up leaves in it. You know? I lean down, but not really. I just kinda <laughs> <laughs> reach out. It's just flavor at this point now too, but little tiny white uh, bluebells sort of just sort of like grow out of her hair. Inside. Wait, wait, come here. There's something in your hair. Oh, thank you. And as he bends down, a uh, blue flower blooms out of Orem's hand <gasps> and is now tucked into uh, Dorian's hair. Yes. Everything. I uh, lean down. Kiss him on the forehead where he kissed me a long time ago. And push the sweaty hair out of his face. Uh, Caleb uh, wanders over to her corpse and kneels. And with his own bloody hand, wipes her hair out of her eyes. I just uh, brush the hair out of his face. And then I start to push soil back over the body. Is doing all this time I have laid Scanlan down in the center of the temple, and with a wet rag I have cleaned his face and combed his hair out. Laying Valora mm. down. Tell me you have revivify. Tell me, tell me you can bring her back. I believe I do. Start combing her hairs with my fingers. Out of her eyes. You can see Gilmore's body, which is from the sheer power of the heal spell, has kind of actually been elevated a few inches off the ground, and then <laughs> clatters to the ground as the spell finishes. And you can see shivers for a second and kind of curls over. <clears throat> I just pull, pull him into my lap. No longer smoothing his hair out. Hey. Hey. 
His body's you know, the stillness is maintained, but you can still feel the heartbeat, and you can feel the pulse of blood through the body just from holding the shoulders, and then uh, from that silence here. <coughs> and the mouth opens, and the eyes begin to lull open, and the the, uh, the irises begin to try and find some point of, of focus, and Gilmore slowly lulls the head back up and looks into your face and smiles instinctually. A little of blood at the corner of his mouth, and he just looks up at you. Ah, it's always what I assumed I'd see in my last moments. <laughs> Bad day, huh? Uh, strangely enough, I'm pretty sure I've had worse. And I went to the nearest shop and bought a lot of pink ribbon. And I have been furiously tying bows all through Trinket's hair. Yeah. Keyleth has been weaving flowers in, and I yeah. have been knotting braids, started at the head, and then worked all the way down Trinket's back and down the tail the entire time, feverishly. 